Hey guys, welcome to Keto with Lee. This is your low carb lifestyle channel. I am your host, Sonia Lee, and today we are making coconut peanut butter cookies. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and remember to hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when I post a new recipe or when I cook live for my family. Before we jump into the recipe, please support this channel by smashing the heck out of the like button, sharing with five people you know, and if you are interested, get you some gear. I have motivational merchandise on my online store. The link is below. Now let me show you how I keto. First things first, we're gonna get our butter and go ahead and melt it. Ta-da! The next thing we're gonna do is get our sucrin, which is our brown sugar substitute, or you can use your favorite sugar substitute. Next is Swerve, or again, your favorite sugar substitute. Now, I like to melt these two together, like once the, you know, the butter is hot, to get these mixed really well. It works excellently. Um, you don't have that, uh, what do you call that, the, um, that effect, like the, I guess I call it a minty effect when you're biting into it once the cookie is done. So I find that this works best for that. It helps eliminate the cooling effect. There you go, the cooling effect. So we mix this really well. And now in a separate bowl, what we're gonna do is get our almond flour. Now remember, I'm using half a recipe for the video, so please don't think I'm cheating you guys. You're gonna get our unsweetened organic coconut flakes and half a teaspoon of the pink Himalayan salt. And then we're gonna mix it together. I like to do this part and take my time with it to get all the lumps out of that almond flour. Remember to visit my website for the full recipe. You're gonna get your two eggs and you're gonna scramble them or beat them whichever phrase you prefer or word you prefer. You're gonna get your cup of uh, raw salted nuts and chop them up roughly. Then into this mixture, we're gonna go ahead and add, I just want you to look at that really quick. <laughs> so you see what it looks like when you're making it, right? The peanut butter's not in there yet, we're getting there. So now we're gonna go ahead and add our dry flour mix, right? Our dry mix to the wet mix. I'm gonna dump it in there. And then just stir it up really good in a moment. We're gonna add the, yep, add the chopped up nuts. And our eggs. Now, we're gonna go ahead and add our vanilla extract. I'm giving you guys the measurements, so I hope you guys can appreciate that because for the whole year, I didn't do it and I did read all the comments that you guys wanted the, um, the recipe. Um, <clears throat> part of my reasoning for doing that is so that I can get some sort of support, you know, financially from you guys visiting the website. So hopefully you still visit the website with this so that you can get the full recipe. And that way you can make these delicious cookies that everyone in your family will love. Here's your cup of smooth peanut butter. I like to use, um, I'm not sponsored by them, but I do use the Kirkland brand because it's only peanuts and salt, nothing extra. So go ahead and mix that in there really well. And let me tell you, as I'm doing this, it smells delicious already. And I had to make these because I had this really, really huge peanut butter craving lately. So it is delicious, I promise. So once you mix it up really, really, really well, we move on to the next step. So here I have my lined baking sheet and I'm gonna take a tablespoon at a time of the peanut butter dough and I'm gonna roll it into a ball just like that 
and then I'm gonna press it and make a cross hatch pattern with a fork. Like this, and it does get a little sticky, so take your time with it. That's how we do it. Now, once again, guys, remember to visit my website at www.ketowithlee.us for the written recipe and the macros. Ta-da! Look at that. They look amazing. Now we're off to the oven to bake for 10 to 15 minutes at 350 degrees. Now look at this. They look amazing. Not burnt, just perfect. Yum. I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Remember to follow me on social media. And until next time, this is How I Keto.